Hello, everybody. My name is David Wiedemann, and I am a senior consultant with Vertical Leadership Consulting. My goal with this little video is to help you get the most out of your experience taking the LDMA. Here is my agenda. Talk about what it is, the LDMA, what you get out of it, what it's like to take, give you some suggestions for taking it, talk about what happens after you take it, and then answer some of the questions that often come up. Okay, LDMA, what is it? stands for Leader Decision-Making Assessment, and as the name implies, it's looking at how you make decisions in the context of work. And its goal is to help you improve in the way that you make decisions. Um, it's developed by this really neat um, nonprofit focuses on learning uh, that we work with a lot in BLC called Lectica. Um, and the, the, the one thing I wanna stress is that it might be unusual. It might feel unusual for you in terms of assessments because it's not judging you. It's not making a decision about whether you get promoted or you get into college or not, like many assessments do. It's more of a coaching. It takes more of a coaching stance. So it's more giving you feedback on how you're doing with the goal of suggesting ways that you can do better. It's sort of your friend. It's your friend. It's not a judge. Okay, what do you get out of it? The first thing you get out of it is a lot of growth. Um, it's going to give you feedback on how you're doing now in a way in your decision making in a way that's already useful to you because it's a thing that we do a lot without reflecting. Um, but it's also going to predict where you're probably going next and give you some actions and steps and things to think about and do that can help you get there faster than you otherwise would. Uh, if you work with the LDMA, do the things that it suggests, reflect on them, try another round, reflect on that. That engagement has been shown to produce some of the best learning that's ever been measured. It's the equivalent or superior to a rigorous graduate program, say a Harvard MBA, uh, except that it's better because it's focused on you and your growth edges and, and it's working directly in your context with you. Um, finally, the last thing you get out of it is if you get better at thinking about how you make decisions, uh, then and understanding how you go about it and understand decisions and understand the context of decisions, then you're going to be better, a better steward of decision-making in your organization. You're going to be better at giving feedback to other leaders. You're going to be better at giving feedback to the organization about how the culture it creates around decision-making, et cetera. Um, so you get to be a better decision-making citizen out, out of this as well. That's going to give results to the organization and the people around you. Um, what's it like to take the LDMA? Well, it's easy. It's online. You read a small paragraph that describes a situation. We call it the scenario uh, in, a, in a workplace. It's going to feel familiar. It's going to be kind of the sort of normal thing that leaders run into in their daily lives in leadership. It's not going to, the situation won't have an easy answer. That's the point. So you have to think about it a little bit. Uh, you think about it and you answer five preset questions. It's not, you answer them in writing, you type online and it's not time. So you have as much time as you want to think about it. Here are the five questions. I'll let you pause the video and look at them. But in general, um, they give you a window into what it's looking for. And I would summarize this as saying, it's looking to see how you think about decision making. It's not really, it, although it does ask you, what would you do in question three? It's also asking you a lot of other things to see how you're getting to that idea. Um, so that's the goal. Uh, as we talk about the strategies, the goal is it's going to do a better job for you if it can see how you're thinking. So the, all these strategies are about giving, bringing your true mind to bear and, give, and putting it into the LDMA because that's going to give you the best results uh, and the best growth on the other end. So how do we do this? First of all, don't use outside help. I think it might be tempting sometimes to go Google uh, things and use AI and ask people things, but you really want to just solve it with whatever you have in yourself, because that's going to give you an accurate representation of you and the report's going to be useful. <laughs> if you use other people's thinking in your thing, then the report's sort of, the report's going to be slightly tarnished and more about them and less about you and the, the suggestions it makes aren't gonna be used. Um, okay, so moving on, what you the, the advice, practical advice, read the scenario, 
sleep on it, really. Give yourself a day or two just to reflect on it. It'll be working in the back of your mind. Then answer the questions. Um, give yourself enough time to do it. You don't have to do them all at once. Total time is usually an hour and a half to two hours for most people who do this. So book those times, you know, book a half an hour every morning and answer a question. Um, when you're answering, be sure to explain your thinking as much as you can. It's not about, it's like the old days in math class, show your work. It's not about the answer. It's about how you got to the answer, right? Because we're trying to show our thinking. Um, if you use jargon, most of us have jargon in our industries or in our workplaces. Try to define that because it's not going to understand your jargon necessarily. And finally, there's a you want to hit your answer. It's somewhere in the 300-ish words. It's about the right. You got a minimum of 150, maximum of 550. And somewhere in that three 400 zone is probably where you want your answers to be for best effect. What happens after you take them? So you do everything we just said. Read the scenario. Think about it. Answer the questions. Submit it. You get a report. Uh, and this report looks at your thinking around decision making from a lot of different angles, and it gives you enough and it gives you a lot of suggestions about ways you can think about, prove, uh, try try things out. And we meet with you basically and help make sense of this report. There's so much information in there you can really use it for a year uh, and keep going back to it and unpacking it. So what we do with you is kind of mix. Make sure you understand what it's telling you. Explain kind of the ideas that's using and the frames it's using. Uh, pick with you a growth edge and then help you select some actions to do and then support you using them. If we're coaching with you, we are working with you over time. We'll do some actions. You'll we'll, we'll pick, some, pick some actions. You'll do them. We'll come back. We'll reflect. We'll pick some other actions. We'll do that for a few months. But you can do it on your own. So the, the whole thing is designed for a really motivated person to do individually as well. So if we're not coaching you, you can still get a lot of benefit out of the LDMA. Uh, okay, so here we are at the common questions. Um, let's see, will I be able to do this? Uh, it's not something, I think a lot of people maybe get intimidated by it, maybe by the way I explain it even, um, but it's not something that you have to be a super genius um, academic character to, to, to do. It's designed to just be accessible for anybody. All you gotta do is think, reflect, and write. That's all you need to do. So anyone can take it who can write an answer. There's no score that you have to get. It's just describing you to yourself and how you go about decision making. And then whether it's useful or not is depends on whether you like the things it's telling you and the suggestions it's making. So um, is there? There's no right answer. <laughs> a lot of people still, even though I say this all the time, people still say, "Well, what are you supposed to do?" And there isn't a supposed to do. There's just you trying to make sense of this situation. Um, is it going to reveal something embarrassing? No, it's not. It's going to actually reveal some, the opposite. It's going to make you be impressed with yourself because making decisions is actually kind of hard. Being a leader is hard. And just doing it already, you're already doing some awesome things. It's going to show that to you. It's going to say, look, all this awesome stuff you're doing. Here's some things to think about. And the things to think about are going to be like little presents. You pick which ones you want to unwrap. It's not going to be like judgments. Uh, why not cheat? Why not use AI or Google? Because, like as I said before, then it's not you. It's not your thinking. And then the assessment isn't, um, then it's sort of meaningless. <laughs> it's a waste of money because it's assessing something else that's not there. Let it assess you um, because you're the one who's there that wants to get better. <laughs> and on the on the side, L the LDMA electrical folks are actually pretty good at capturing, catching when it's not you writing the things. Um, they're good at that. Um, so they'll probably it'll probably be flagged if you bring in data from outside sources. Um, what kind of actions is it going to be recommending? There's simple little things that you can do in your leadership, and no one would even know you're doing them, but they give you a lot of reflection on what you're doing and they help you think and grow. Uh, just one example, you know, you might decide if you're thinking about getting better at a certain thing, you might decide to watch how other leaders are doing that. You might go to situations or meetings where they're doing the thing that you want to get better and you might observe them. That's a simple example. There's a lot of different things and not the only thing, but it's all tailored to what you're trying to get better at. But that's the kind of thing, right? No one would even know you were observing. Uh, can you design your own actions? Yes. Ultimately, that's the goal. The whole, the whole, the whole hope for using the LDMA is that you will kind of turn into a self-improvement machine, that you'll use some of the suggestions that we make, but then you'll get the sense of how to make 
your own kind of actions and you'll do those things and reflect on them and doing yourself in perpetuity. That's the goal. All right. I think we're at the end. I hope this has been helpful to you. I hope this makes you feel a little bit more comfortable about what you're getting into and ready to take it. And I just want to say thank you and we'll see you at the debrief and take care. As soon as I can figure out how to stop this thing.